that how you feel when you hear about online marketing? Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, WordPress, search engine optimization? I mean, the list goes on and on and on. To help you make sense of all of that, we've got Tony Connick with us in the VD Trainer interview today. Tony is a South African who specializes in this. He's also known as one of the top 100 search engine optimization experts in the world. Tony will talk to you about your online presence and how you could apply it immediately to get some results for your business. Bear in mind, please, that we had a bit of an issue with my video feed, so you're going to see Tony's devilishly handsome face alone. But the interview is really good. Stay tuned and enjoy. Hi there and welcome back. As I said, we've got Tony Tonic with us today. Uh, Tony is an internet marketing consultant and as I said before, uh, he specializes in things like search engine optimization, online marketing and getting his clients on the first page of Google. Tony, welcome to the video trainer interview. It's, it's great having you here. Thanks Dion, it's a pleasure to be here, spending this time with you guys. Fantastic. You're a you're an online marketing and I, I know you don't like if I use the word guru, but uh, some other people in your space use the word guru. Um, so if we look at the South African picture with online marketing, what do you think, you know, where do you think we are in South Africa with online marketing? What is the state of it? Um, I think online marketing is very much at the beginning stages here. Even though we're a couple of years down the line, um, if you compare it with America, it's completely integrated there. And um, people, your big corporates, they there already. Your smaller business, um, they have not really discovered the, the treasure of online marketing yet. Mm. And with the latest developments in Google with local marketing and that, it's really a place where they should get to very fast, you know? I, I, I hear you. So, would you say that online marketing has changed the business la landscape maybe? Definitely. Um, you know, it's giving small businesses an opportunity to be on the first page of Google with um, global companies and um, national companies. And then also to actually in their local sphere seem as important or even more relevant than what a national company would be. Okay, yeah. So essentially what you're saying is that it, it leveled the playing field almost to a certain extent. Definitely. Okay. Now, I know that you're a, a, a firm believer in having a proper online marketing strategy. You know, you don't like the shotgun approach. So what is a proper online marketing strategy? You know, I grew up in the days when they used to say you either um, plan to fail or you fail to plan. <laughs> and that, that's the big thing with marketing. One of my most successful clients here in Cape Town um, comes out of the advertising industry, has got a um, psychology degree. And he's just been appointed the top real estate agent for Remax in the country. He's always told me, and what I've seen with it is consistency in your marketing. Mm. So you need to market on a daily basis. And um, if you don't have a plan, if you don't have a structure in place that will actually help you do that, then you can waste a lot of time. So you need to sit down and do a marketing plan, then you work your plan. Mm. At the end of the day, if we don't have a plan, which fall around and falling around actually hurts you as opposed to doing a little bit every day and you build on a good foundation. Mm. So essentially what you say is that um, you know th th there should be a, a specific strategy you don't just go in and try something and hope for the best almost you know there's a there's a specific yeah. way of doing this. Definitely um, you know one of the areas where I see a lot of um, problematic kind of marketing in social media um, the whole Facebook thing came along and people just started spamming people on Facebook and they're yeah. getting unfriended, they're not getting results and that's because they're not doing that properly. Mm. So if you look at Facebook, it's a great way or method of actually building a network. It's not such a hard way of actually marketing your property or your business. But um, I'll, as I, I'll mention a little bit later, why building that network is so important for your mm. business. Mm. So one of the things that I know you are talking about constantly is having a blog if i'm if i'm right it almost seems that you think you know the whole online strategy should begin with a blog yes uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that look you know a blog is is your personal voice online mm. and um, what happens there is that 
why I like a blog is that you are in control. Okay, it's the only place. If you think about it, you get your blog in your own domain. It's the only place where you are in control. Yeah. You, the other places like Facebook and LinkedIn and YouTube and Twitter, wherever, you have no control. Yeah. Even a company website, they do whatever they want to do and you just tag along. Um, the other reason why I like blogs is that is because Google likes blogs. And because of, you hear me say this time and time again, local internet marketing, mm. blogs are becoming vital because it, it's becoming your voice, your personality online, not just another cookie cutter or run-of-the-mill kind of situation. Now, for, for those of our viewers watching this thinking, you know, I've just come onto Facebook, got that under control, but what on earth is a blog? What is a blog and how can you explain it to them? Look, a blog is a website. People look at websites online and um, often 50% plus of the websites that they see are blogs. Mm. So. Um, a blog came from way back when DARPA, who started the internet. Um, they had, it was for the army, the US Army, and they had to, on a daily basis, um, give a report. Mm. Okay? And um, this blog, this report was actually their blog. Okay? Um, and so it was a daily report from people all over the world, and that's how the blogs developed. It became a daily report. Um, of the online activity or the activity. So, okay. am I explaining that properly? Yeah, I, I think what, what, I, what I hear you saying is that it's something that you've got control over and you can add to it, as you say, regularly or daily or whatever your schedule then allows. Yes. Um, but, you know, the freshest content will always be there on top. The best, yes. Yeah. If you, um, you know, the Google. Um, when you look at Google, how they rank pages and how they rank websites is that they look for relevance. Okay. Relevance is one of the biggest uh, areas that um, a website should focus on. And then they look for freshness. Okay. And that is where a blog comes in because you don't need a programmer, you don't need a, a technical expert to do a blog. You, if you can write a, a letter on Word, in Word, you can write a letter on, on a blog or an article on the blog and have it posted on the internet virtually immediately. Exactly. And that's how simple it is. So obviously then a, a blog is a, is a very valuable marketing tool and, and I remember you said to me before so that a blog integrates with the rest of your online marketing um, presence almost in the sense that you can from your blog also feed your social media channels with, with content and links and stuff. There's a great deal of automation that you can do with that and um, that have any, everything integrate um, with the blog um, so that it makes your, lo your sort of workload lighter. Mm. And um, the, 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 the other thing, you know, with the blog is you can actually uh, pre or date your posts. So you can sit down, do three or four posts and then um, uh, get it um, over f or schedule it over the month. Okay. And actually, you'll see something coming up every week or every second week, and it will look like you're constantly updating your blog. Okay. So it, it puts you on control. It's the same with Facebook now. You can schedule um, actual updates. So you can sit for an hour, two hours in a week sometimes at show us or wherever, and do your updates, and it runs automatically throughout the week for you. Okay, okay. So if we talk about a blog and people think about it as a website, obviously, you know, the immediate question is going to be, but you know, I'm I'm just an estate agent, or I'm just an, you know, a business person. I'm not a techie. I don't know how to design and and, and um, do websites. What would you say to them? Look, um, it's as easy as say getting a domain and setting up a WordPress blog, and then just start writing your articles, getting things in line. You obviously have a learning curve, but um, it is. Um, you know, if, as I said earlier, if you can write a Word document, you can set up and manage a blog. Mm. Um, to, in the beginning, to get that set up, uh, uh, so it might cost you um, a couple of rand to get somebody to do it for you. But if you have time, you can sit down and actually do it yourself. Yeah. Yeah, and, and look, as you know, I'm an attorney, I, uh, and I, I, I managed to do a, a, a WordPress blog myself. So it literally is that e easy. Um, you're right, there is a bit of a learning curve, but it's it's also not that, that hard. Um, no. And once you get 
your blog up and running, you know, just adding content to it on a regular basis is the simplest thing. Yes. Okay, so a lot of our uh, viewers are, are estate agents. Um, what would you say, how can an estate agent use a blog or a WordPress blog then, uh, or any blog for that matter, to differentiate themselves from, from their competition, the other agents? Yes. Look, you know, um, I used to be an estate agent many years ago, mm. and at that point, the main thing we were told to do, how to establish yourself, if you go into a new area, you need to have your farming area. Yeah. So you took 200, a block or 250 houses and you started knocking doors and chatting to those people. Now with them, a block and social media, it is really farming online. Okay. You need to uh, focus on your area. You need to um, inform people about your area, about schools and that via your blog. Okay. And all of that local information that you do on your blog will then um, say give it relevance when people start searching about you know a property in Cape Town or property mm. in George or Mossel Bay wherever you come up or they search about the school in Mossel Bay and you did an article lovely article about the rugby match on your blog and they find you there you are Mr. Sales Agent on that page as well so you they see you as an important person in the community and that's somebody to do business with okay Okay, so you would advise estate agents or entrepreneurs for that matter then to, with their blog, focus on their local market literally, you know, yes. and, and through their blog, add content that applies to their local market and, and almost, in a sense, reporting on things that are interesting to people uh, for their local market. Yes. Okay. You know, the, um, what has happened with Google is you can basically say Google has gone local. And the same with Facebook. Facebook just opened it or just uh, introduced their search graph. Okay. They have gone local. Okay. They want to know, that, first of all, with um, uh, geolocation, they pick up where you are with your computer, with your phone, and their main focus is now to get the most relevant information from that area and serve it up to whoever searches something. So okay. they search about property in Mossel Bay or on Facebook, on Google, it, what they focus on is to get information from there and to serve it up to you. It's no longer a case of they're going to serve up something in Cape Town or Baghdad or whatever. Okay. They want to focus where you are and that is giving the local business a great advantage right now. I think that's great advice. Now, WordPress or setting up a blog, you know, if we don't just literally look at, at, at WordPress in itself, because that's free as I know, eh? Yes, Okay, free. but w what would you say are the costs involved with, you know, getting a domain, setting up your blog and getting it up and running? Okay, um, setting up a domain, uh, you pay 100 Rand to COSA yeah. for the rental of the domain for the year. Sorry, and Tony, then... I don't want to interrupt, but just to, to, to be clear then, can you just explain what it means to get a domain also? A uh, domain is, um, if you, it could be your business name, it could be a keyword related to area. So, uh, property in mosselbay.co.za. Okay. That's a domain name. Okay. Yeah, now, there are, you have a registrar that um, administers the .co.za domain and other kinds of domains. So, you actually rent that domain for them for a year, which costs you 100 rand. And then every year you will, you will renew that. That's 100 bucks every year. Okay. For um, a name, essentially. Yes. Okay. Okay, and then that domain needs to be hosted. Uh, with a WordPress blog, you need to have a SQL database. So you're yes. looking at hosting, um, depending on which company, from 99 Rand a month to 120, 180 Rand a month to host that blog, and that's a monthly cost. Okay. Um, most of your companies will actually install a WordPress blog on, on, on the back end for you if you ask them, and they'll do it as part of the hosting service. Mm. So that costs you nothing. And then you just um, need to figure out how to get into the blog and to start writing your posts and that type of thing. Okay. We, do, we, we do some training on that where we will actually sit and um, you know, take you and we'll walk you through your WordPress setting it mm. up and basic stuff like that. So um, I've been doing it for agencies um, where they have a number of agents and we take two hours at, and we charge them like 500 bucks for the two hours. No matter how many agents, that type of thing, you know? Okay, okay. So, 
basic training on that. But if you go to YouTube and you type in how to set up a WordPress blog, you'll probably find hundreds if not thousands of videos that will actually walk you through that. Mm, yeah, so the information is out there. If you want to learn, you can get the knowledge. Yes. Or if you don't want to spend the time, you can you can get you know a have company like, like your company to, to do yes, it for you. Yes, we'll set it up. And um, I have um, uh, real estate specific themes that we actually had developed and bought. So um, you know we charge a bit more to set up a, a real estate blog mm. because a, you know the search function in a, a real estate blog. Is, is, is an advanced piece of software. Okay. So it's not that easy to do that on a basic plain blog. Mm. But I mean, you know, today I'm getting a bit more technical, but for that you end up paying a bit more for your theme. Mm. Mm. You mentioned uh, briefly, you know, social media like Facebook, and, and I know you've recently been nominated as one of the top 100 search engine optimization experts globally to follow yeah. on Twitter. So, uh, you know, what's, what's that all about? What, what is Twitter, you know, first of all? I always describe Twitter as a billboard. You, you, <laughs> you, sort of, you, you can only do 144 characters in that, so you can't really um, do a heck of a lot or say a, a lot with that. But people, you know, when you do a new post, you just tweet about it and it goes to your following. I like to, using Twitter for SEO mm. because it gives me a backlink. Okay. Um, to, to, to that article. Mm. And then um, there's certain times when, you know, we, um, I'm involved with the Jimmy and Cape Town when we have a tournament, um, we have a whole bunch of followers on Twitter. So as the, um, as the tournament carries on, we will tweet results from the fights and things like that. Okay. And yeah, so, yeah, but it's, uh, my Facebook is set up to automatically tweet whenever I do something on Facebook and mm. the same goes with my LinkedIn. Okay. So I ever personally tweet, but I've got a whole bunch of stuff that goes out because of the way it's been set up. Mm. Yeah, so essentially, just again, you you post some sort of an article on your blog, and it yeah. automatically sends out that article or the link to that article to Facebook and to LinkedIn and to Twitter and all the other social media channels you're using. Yes. Now, you, you touched on search engine optimization and you being one of the top 100 global experts on uh, SEO or search engine optimization. What is that? Search engine optimization is really just being found on Google. Mm. And um, there are hundreds of millions of websites out there. Uh, Google, if you think about it, can somebody search for property in Mossel Bay? Google's got a billion websites to run through with 10 billion keywords they have mm. to find in a split second. The top 10 results for that keyword on, on Google. Yeah. And search engine optimization is how you set your site up so that Google can find, you know, rank it better and find that keyword or related keyword mm. to that um, mm. fast enough. So the better you do your SEO on your blog, on your website, the better you rank on Google. Okay, so what you're saying is it, it's, it's a way of doing your website or uh, writing your articles, for instance, so that Google finds it easier and thinks, it's, you know, you are, for instance, if your keyword is property in the garden route, let's say, um, you will do your, your website in such a way and write your articles in such a way that Google will find you easier for those keywords. Yes, you okay. must remember that um, when you Google's um, customer is the searcher, all right? And what they want to do is they want to satisfy that search. That's their number one priority. Yes. So, and the way they do it is they use a machine to do that, mm. right? Or like a computer program. Mm. So when you do, you, you write your article for that searcher, for the human, but you also put elements in there to satisfy the very rigid searching algorithm. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's, yeah. So you're not writing it for a machine, you are writing your articles for a real person who is going to yes. search for those keywords. Well, it should always be on your real person, but you just weave in the little the SEO um, uh, elements into that. Mm. I know you've got a whole proper training program about that and we are literally just skimming on the surface there. So I'm not going to I'm not going to extract any more on that from you today. Um, if we do get you know requests and, and, and you know people asking us about that, then obviously we can we can schedule a follow up interview. 
Sure. I wanted to ask you one more thing. Um, one of the hot topics at this moment in time in the world of online marketing is content marketing. Yes. Now, for somebody watching this interview, struggling to get their head around uh, WordPress and setting up your blog and search engine optimization, what on earth is content marketing and why should we care? Okay. Content marketing is um, really information and but what more importantly on that content marketing is relevancy. Yes. Yep. So when you do a blog or you've got a business that you're doing a blog for, your content marketing or your content should be focused around your, your information, around answering questions about your business, about okay. um, explaining how your product worked and product reviews and things like that. Um, so you generate content around that and it becomes relevant to um, you know, your, your, your niche, as they call it, or your business. And um, that is how then Google comes, they look at this content, they see it's fresh, it's relevant, uh, it's something that they would read or a person would read, and then they serve it up to the searcher. So There's a lot of people sorry. out there who wants to create content and cookie cutter content and put it out there, that hurts your business. Okay. They want fresh, new, relevant stuff. So, you know, reporting the latest or the weekend's rugby matches from a school, writing a review on that and that type of thing, that's fresh content, and that's mm. content that will have a relevancy uh, when Google comes and search in your area. Okay. You know, but the rugby match um, 20 years ago, that is not that relevant anymore. Yes, so. yes, of course. It doesn't sound all that complicated then. It's literally just, you know, putting stuff on your blog that are relevant to your business and to the people you're trying to reach. Yes, oh, exactly. It's, you know, um, it, it is, it's as simple. If you can train yourself that mm. you spend a, a couple of hours a week and mm. you can sit in a coffee shop and you write an article. You can even write a review about that coffee shop, your experience there, and put that on your blog. It, it just um, focuses you in that area. What I've found with a blog is that you can actually build fantastic relationships with it. Ah. You start promoting businesses in your area and schools like that. You contact them, say, listen, I'm doing this information on my blog. Um, I'm, 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 you know, I'm punting your business on my blog. I'm giving you a good review. The guys are very happy to, to send that um, a link to their, to, to their mailing list. Or of course. To tell their customers, hey, you will see this review on, my on that blog. And that generates business for you. Mm. You build a relationship, and you're really taking online relationship, and you're putting it, and you're giving, putting it offline as well. Yeah, exactly. So with you know the internet marketing didn't change anything. There's it's still about relationships as well. Yep, definitely. Okay. Even it's more and more like that. Mm. It, it just made it easier to reach people further away, or even closer to you. You know, people that you might not have known about local businesses and you can reach out to them and, and, and meet them almost online and then get a real relationship going with them. Yes, definitely. Okay. Look, this is usually the time, Tony, where I just say to, you know, anybody watching this, uh, we would like you to, to join VD Trainer. We get experts like Tony on regularly. And um, if you're not a subscriber to VD Trainer yet, then uh, what on earth is wrong with you? Go out and become a subscriber immediately. And you yes. can get or be kept up to date with, with interviews and, and, and experts like, like you. Tell us about your training programs and you know, the other things that you do that, that might be of interest to, to the people watching this, uh, this interview. Okay, I, um, I do some training with um, Gerrit van Rensburg at IESA okay. where we touch on the basics of um, internet marketing for real estate and then I'm for the Cape Chamber Internet Marketing for local or for small business. Okay. We really just step through a my what I believe the nine areas, the ten areas actually is that a business today must have a presence in. Mm. You know, starting with um, a Google Plus page and a Google Places page, mm. and then also um, your Facebook, your blog, doing the Twitter, looking at YouTube pulling all of this together and then, you know, pushing it out there as a marketing campaign. Okay. Present a three-day workshop on this where um, we actually sit people with their computer, down with their computer, we set up a blog for them and we build this foundation 
and teach them how to actually do this foundation. Okay. And th then I've been doing um, shorter workshops um, at um, Four Principles, where I actually just spend a, uh, like a morning at the agency, and they bring in the agents, and we 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 broken down it, you know, units like Facebook as a unit, um, LinkedIn as a unit, blogging for real estate as a unit. Mm -hmm. So it, it's very scalable and um, modular. Okay, perfect. Um, we will put, put the link up, but, but where can our, re uh, our viewers reach you? Look, my website is called uh, mainstreetmarketing.co.za and my email is tony at mainstreetmarketing.co.za Tony, the Afrikaans Tony, T-O-N-I-E, mm. not whether why. And um, yeah, just go to my website. There's a contact, pay, uh, contact page on that. And uh, my telephone numbers, everything is on there. Okay. Otherwise, I can, you know, just through you, you can pop me an email. I will. Tony, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show. Um, you gave a lot of valuable information, and I'm sure we'll get a lot of questions out of this. And hopefully, you know, at some stage, we can do a follow-up on this. Cool. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks, Tony. Cheers. Bye. Bye.